Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl, Britt Reacts. And today we are reacting to why did the girl fall off the swing? Ricky Gervais dinner party joke. Science, universal comedy. Let's see what he has to say. And I've never been in trouble for anything I've said because I, I don't care what people think and I refuse to apologize for it. I mean, growing up, I always used to sort of like, you know, test the boundaries a little bit and try and get people to laugh at things they thought they shouldn't. Um, I remember when I was, actually, I wasn't a kid. I was about 25. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's still a kid sometimes. I'd met this other couple. They'd moved down from the north, okay? And um, they used to come in the place where I used to work, and we had a couple of drinks with them. And then one day, they invited us to a party, and we went along. And one, it was a dinner party. Um, they hadn't warned us about that. But two, it was with their parents, both sets of parents, their grandparents, and some great aunts and uncles that would come down from the north to see how they were getting on. So average age... Why would you invite people to a dinner party? One, and not tell them it's a dinner party because one, you have to dress differently for that. You sh typically should show up with at least a bottle of something. And three, you have your family there. Why would they not tell them that? That's awful. That's, that's a setup. That's a setup. Parents and some great aunts and uncles that would come down from the north to see how they were getting on. So average age of about 85, right? And I think we were an afterthought. That's the they thought, average oh, we've got age. no one their own age. Oh, what? The, the Ricky and Jane, invite them. So I came along. And we're still okay. sort of getting to know them. And uh, as I say, I always just do, you know, muck around and make up jokes and see if I could, you know. We're, us Brits, we use humour all the time. Two Brits meet, and it's the first one to get a gag out, okay? Whether it's irony, satire, silliness to it. Doesn't we, matter. We use it as a, a sword and a shield and a medicine, but mostly as a getting to know you. Are you like-minded, okay? So, uh... My best friend and I just had this conversation the other day because I called him and I said, I have a friend that recently moved to the same city as him and she didn't have any other friends. And I'm like, will you just, you know, like hang out with her? And he's like, is she going to get my jokes? <laughs> like, immediately he was like, does she have the same humor as us? Because you know how I am. And I like, I don't want to deal with that. And I'm like, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. He's like, B, is she gonna understand my humor? I need to know now, do I need to like dial it back or can I shake her hand and say something inappropriate? It's just like, that's so true. And I love, I say this every time I watch Ricky. Ricky has opened up British humor for me. I've never known anything about it, but I feel like I would go across the pond and have the best, I would laugh nonstop because the, the humor is so just to the point and cheeky. And that's like my personality. I don't know if y'all can tell that, um, but I love that. I like, this is my favorite thing about Ricky Gervais is that he opens up my eyes to like real good, straight to the point comedy. I told this joke, I started off lightly in case they didn't like that sort of thing. I said, um, why did the little girl fall off the swing? Cause she had no arms. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, right. Okay, sweet. And they <laughs> laughed. A little bit louder than that. There was only two of them, so thanks, <laughs> right? So I thought, okay, they get it. They like that sort of thing. And, you know, you, you up the ante a little bit. And I told this joke. Oh, okay. Let me have a little drink. Start the car. Right. <laughs> Warm the bus. I told this joke. Is that a brain? <laughs> I made sure the old people couldn't hear. Right, right. Father, sitting at home, reading the paper. His little girl comes running in. She's only six. Hello, dear. Hello, Daddy. What have you been doing then? I'm playing in the park. Oh, with your friends. Yeah, until the man came along. Until the man came along. Yeah, a man came along and he asked my friends to leave, so it was just me and him. Darling, come, up, come over here. Come here, darling. What? Whatever happened, none of it was your fault, okay? But tell Daddy every detail. What, what happened, darling? What happened? Um, he took me behind a wall so no one could see what we were doing. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Um, he took my dress off. Oh, God, darling. What happened then? What happened then? Um, he took his thing out. Oh, God. What happened then, darling? Nothing. That was it. Oh, we'll make something up. Okay, let's see how these people responded to that because 
in my mind, they left or they, they asked him to leave. Oh my God. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Don't tell anyone that. I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> so I told that joke and I carried on. We're getting a bit drunk and I'm telling more jokes. Eventually we sat down oh, about quarter to ten. Okay. They put two sort of kitchen tables together. It went off well. And, uh, the host sat at either end, and they sat me in the middle, opposite this very sweet but very deaf sort of 80-year-old man. So the conversation was a bit stilted. And after about 20 minutes, Ian, one of the hosts, pipes up and says, oh, tell that joke. What? And all the old people go, oh, we love jokes. No! Do you? <laughs> I looked at Ian, and he went, it'll be fine. I went, OK. And he sort of got on with his conversation. I went, oh, um, they're all like that. All sweet old faces. <laughs> No, went, no, 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 no. <sighs> uh, oh, the fuck? Um, father, sitting at home reading the paper, <laughs> this little girl comes back, told the whole joke, got to the bit, well, make something up. And they went, <clears throat> silence. I looked at Ian, he went, not that one! <laughs> oh, he told the wrong one! Oh, no. <sighs> oh, no. Um, all right, well, you go and have the day you deserve. Peace.